Hello one and all and welcome to Applaud the Mod. My name is Connor and today we are looking at a modification for another Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption mod by the name of the Empire at War Remake. Dun dun dun. So, yeah. Geronimo, probably one of my favourite modders. Well, not probably, he is. He puts an incredible amount of detail and effort into each of the models and check textures for ships he does. And they look amazing. So, this is pretty much a remake of Empire at War. It will have land combat and Gal Galactic Conquest, I believe. But this is a really early beta. So, you know, problems are going to be there. Things are going to occur. It's normal. He is already quickly patching issues that are within the mod itself. And now, it's only a little bit of a slaughter match. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So, I... Just put in easy AI for now so I can show you each of the ships and stuff and the amazing job he's done with them. Uh, I will be the Empire because, hell, why not? I love the Empire, they're awesome. And I will go against the Consortium. Consortium, for anybody that doesn't know, is it's like a criminal criminal underworld similar to Jabba the Hutt, only it's led by Zahn, uh, Tiber Zahn from the Forces of Corruption games. And he's a pretty interesting character. I really like him. He's pretty awesome. So let's just change these teams up here. I hope no, I'm not going against three. Hell no. Uh, player one. Team one. Whatever. And let's start the game. Unlike a lot of other mods that tend to keep the fighters larger than they actually are. So they're not really to scale. This modification does have fighters that are to scale. Which is a really, really big pet peeve of mine. So you can see here how small they are compared to this station. And that's realistic. It, it creates more depth and allows you to Course get more set. invested in what's going on. And I love that about it. Ready for action. So each of the models for all the ships reporting. have been redone. And they're really, really, really high definition. I can't really show you the fighters because, well, yeah, the camera's weird. It doesn't allow you to go in front of them or rotate Station around ready. them. Now, in production. I'll just build a few groups of fighters and bombers here because I'm going to need them. The AI tends to be a little bit erratic. On normal, it's almost impossible to destroy the enemy team. But it's also that some of the ships, especially the consortium ships, are incredibly overpowered. Especially the aggressor, Star Destroyer, which you also have as the consortium in the vanilla forces of corruption. Choose your reinforcements. Now what is my ally doing? Or in fact, why is he not doing anything? That's weird. So the AI, you know, there are problems. Especially with the balancing of some of the newer ships. Like I said, the aggressor, it's the one that fires like a massive, massive energy blast of ion energy that disables the ship's shields and then it fires a big plasma shot at the enemy ship as well which then destroys parts of the hull and the, the superstructure it's it's a beast the ship is amazing it's long range but it, it's supposed to be that when you get in close it's not as good because it's a long range ship but whenever i brought in thrawn or uh piet they just didn't stand a chance even in close range they got tore apart and there's a little sort of frigate, I can't remember the name of it, but it looks awesome. It has four uh, mass, oh, it's called mass driver cannons. And they are freaking awesome. Look, they look just like a ship through to, together with a, you know, Ready for command, sir. by pirates. Just to do as much damage as possible. I think it's a Mandalorian ship. A lot of these on consortium ships are of Mandalorian design, which is awesome because the Mandalorians... Uh, are the inspiration behind the ship like the Venator and pretty much Star Destroyers in general. Watch for enemy ships. You know where to go. Ready right, now go. things are getting off the ground pretty nicely for a change. Usually I'd have been swarmed by fighters now, which would have been destroying my mining facilities. And I don't know why they're not attacking. I give them an attack order, but they're busy with buzz droids, is it? Yeah. So some things are still... You know, a work in progress, but that's to be expected again. Construction complete. Just wait until you see the actual, you know, massive space battles because they are the epic. I, I was so surprised. I was expecting this just to be like a shinier version of Empire at War, but even though you've got a twenty command cap here, and let's say uh, you bring Thrawn, and he's 
takes six of the 20 to bring in. Complete. But holy crap, especially if you have an ally, which I do, but for some reason they're not playing, which is really, really odd. Maybe I just made a mistake. If I did, then, you know, I'm retarded. But the bottles are freaking glorious. He's also done a lot of work with the particle effects on the, you know, the little uh, details like the turbo laser shots. They all look amazing. Everything is so close to what the movies actually show you, and it makes for a much more immersive experience. It's really, really cool. And Geronimo made a modification that I had been waiting for for a long time uh, related to the Clone Wars. The Old Republic, or not the Clone Wars, uh, yeah, the Old Republic, I just said that, where it's Sith against the Republic, and the Sith ships, the Harrower, holy crap, the Harrower is a nice ship, like, the Gladiator, this here ship that Geronimo did, it's a frigate, but, holy, it's, well, I would say it's, it's a cruiser, it's not that small, to be honest, but, it's like a baby Harrower, I mean, I'll show you an image of the Harrower on the screen now, look at this, it's a baby Harrower, it's awesome. Look, look, they even exit the hangar base. How cool is that? How cool is that? On the little windows here, they're not actually just a line with, you know, some blue and white now. They actually look like windows. The ships actually do look like ships. And you can see each of the batteries here, the main gun batteries, they actually turn and aim towards whatever enemies they're firing upon, their targets. So, I'm just pretty much trying to get upgraded here to show you more ships. As many ships as possible Location because holy crap, they look awesome. And I'm not getting resources that quickly, so I'm going to have to upgrade those again. In but I'm a little bit cautious. I really, really do not trust the AI for this at all. They just seem to uh, zerg you. On medium, I don't. Even, I haven't even played it on hard. I should have played it, but hell no. Just hell no. I, I, I have a love for life i don't want to be destroyed by waves and waves of what are these things again they're this uh those uh oh, skip red boats or something yes yeah, skip red blast boats they're actually classed as capital ships because the armament on them are so friggin over these things have more guns than most uh, of the rebel fleet and that's i'm being honest these things do serious damage but what are the little fighters called again if I can get oh it's moving all over the place here. See here they come. There's boss. I'll boss. You know what I need? More of these little uh custom like Corvettes. Constructing unit. fighter support, because these guys are freaking annoying. Look at them. The, the consortium is so overpowered. Look at all my fighters swarming them. I know the Kai fighters are just like a a cannon fodder type unit, but come on. Crusader is an awesome little ship. All the Mandalorian ship designs are awesome. Instructions received. Reporting. Now there is no land combat yet, but to be honest, if you're looking to play land combat on Empire War, there's something pretty wrong with you. It's the space combat that really shines in this game. Right, I'm upgrading my space station here. And I've tried to record this multiple times. I'm serious, I've tried to record this like six times, and no matter if I have an ally or not, the enemy always... The consortium, some people will say, oh, you're just not good enough, you're not... Look at this, look at all my fighters swarming this here group of enemy fighters here. One group against all of these and boss, and I am getting absolutely, completely destroyed. While I also have, you know, frigate support here. It's complete and utter farce. But I love it, it's just, I've waited for a model like this for so long. So now that I'm bringing this little cruiser in, these guys should actually be able to take down the enemy fighters with some success at least. And there's the explosions, the explosions are amazing. And there's something with the ship debris that I'll have to show you later whenever a large ship is destroyed. Some of the ship designs are custom, I know that for a fact, uh, but I apologise, I really can't remember uh, 
I looked at them last night, but it's just... I've had a busy day, so... I'll try and remember, but for now I'll bring in a victory class and I'll bring in Darth Vader, because Bosk is getting annoying. There's two Bosks. Because, you know, my ally, he didn't show up for some reason. He must be still in bed. Let's take uh, my ships over here to take out this little frigate. Or oh, it's a Corvette, I thought this thing was a frigate. Then again, it is a little bit small. Right, there we go. My frigate's moving in to take out this guy. I'm going to lose a main and base here. Because yes, my ally is a slacker. There it is there. There's that frigger there. Look at that frigger. Look at him. The Vengeance class. Super long range artillery. It looks... Look at it. Just look at it. That is one awesome ship design. Look at it. It looks like a space station with four fucking massive guns. Come on. <laughs> that thing is overpowered. I mean, look at the range. It's very enough. Nothing I feel will do anything to this. Come on, you animal. The consortium arc really overpowered. And I like that, but I the Empire man, come on, the Empire is awesome. Oh my god, there's IG twenty eight or something. IG IG eighty eight or whatever you call them. There's so many different models. Come on, Vader. You're late for your arrival, come on here. Right, oh, oh, there's my interceptors. Interceptors fa uh, faster, but light, have lighter armor. My ships here aren't doing anything. Let's bring them into a support role. TIE Fighters after IG-88. That's Vader time. Get him, Vader! Get him! Get him! We see IG-88 taking down my entire space station on his own. Ridiculous shit like that always happens. Now I'm gonna bring in... Uh, I don't even have enough for anything really, guys. Come on. Uh, you know, I'll buy a hyper velocity, hyper velocity shot. Look, IG-88, he's taking out everything. What the hell's going on here? Oh, it's not IG-88. Damn it. Vader, take out this freaking little vengeance class here. These things are the most annoying. Look at the guns. Look at them. And then Vader dies. To the most overpowered unit in the game. Now, you know something cool you can do with a victory? See these wings on the earlier models? Watch this. Lock S boys in attack. They actually close. Look at them. Look at the detail, guys. Look at the turbulator, guys. I'm starting to sound like fucking PewDiePie. Screw that shit. I'm at bows. We've got third throw bows. We've got, uh, we got uh, some pirate bows. Bosk! You're mine, Bosk. Don't mess with the Empire. Whoa, this mod's awesome. Right, I finally chased them off somewhat. And I say somewhat because, holy crap, they're still... It's like they're just... Machine me. Look at the range in this thing. Look at the range. Holy crap. That should be nerfed. It's like the friggin' warrior from WoW. Nerf the crap out of the thing. And whenever you do nerf it, it's still overpowered to all hell. No, attack him. Victory, victory. Attack him, quick. Look, he's attacking my main facilities. That is overpowered. Come on. The Victory does have a lot of uh, torpedo base. Although, can I even select them on the hard points here? No, uh, on the side here, it has little rocket bears. What would they be called in space? It would be torpedoes, wouldn't it? Holy shit, look at guys, it's the fucking aggressor. Victory, come on! Oh my god, I didn't even realize. You know what, I'm gonna keep the rest of the ships a secret. There will be a freaking achievement for you guys if you can get past any AI on easy. Come on. This is easy. Imagine normal. I've tried to do this like six times in normal. 
Oh, it's so enjoyable though. It's just so much going on. Instead of just a few units skirmishing here and there, it's going on everywhere. But my poor station. I love my station. Request Bubba Fat, come on, hurry up. He can change the tide, can't he? He can turn the tide. Oh my good god. We've got another aggressor. You know what? I need a friend. I need someone to play this with. I need someone. It is weird. You can't even get on the Empire at War anymore online. It always seems to crash or close before you do anything. Okay, so. My victory now is taking so much fire. And this is a good time to show you how the shields work. You can see the shields get hit. Every time a laser hits the shields, it actually shows up. Whenever the ship's shields drop and hard points start taking damage, they will actually catch fire and you'll see the damage on the superstructure. Boba Fett, change the time, mate. Come on. Come on, Boba. Boba. Come on. Holy shit, Boba's racking this thing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yes, I love that. Freaking ability, what is it called? Seismic charge. I love that thing. Just the effect is awesome. Bam, boom, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Vader's still alive, really? Right, you two take down this aggressor. Come on. The Empire are getting racked here. Is that the vanilla aggressor? It looks like it. I do know he did uh, his own model and textures. Oh, oh, wait, where is it? Where is it? I saw that ship. I saw it. Don't you lie to me. I saw that ship. Where did I see that ship? Damn it. So, the consortium gets a version of the Venator. It's like the successor to the Venator, only it didn't go into service. It looks awesome, guys. Check it out. Really do check this mod out. Give this guy more support because he does make top class mods. The best quality. Those guns are freaking ridiculous. They're like massive Barrett's. If Barrett had four arms, it would look like this thing. IG-8 still there. Hey, how is it? Oh, look at the damage. Look at the... Look at the damage! I'm so excited. Like, I, you know what? I shouldn't record videos and I'm this excited. Holy crap. Come on, Bubba! Vader. You know, Vader's pretty much overpowered. Whenever he takes a little bit of damage, it's not his ship taking damage. He's losing parts of his squadron. His wingmen are being shut down. But you get the ability to... What's it called? Just, yeah, call for wingmen where he replaces a lost wingman. And that replaces his health. He's pretty overpowered. But look, and he gets that damn lucky shot. And just to let you know, yeah, my space station's pretty dead. It's it's gone. It's gone completely. Maybe the way he balanced it was by limiting the command cap by twenty. But still, look at this. Their fighters are far superior to Tie fighters, and you know what? I have to admit, the Rebel Alliance fighters, the Tie fighters, they're a bit better because they they are far superior fighter. In the Star Wars universe, over the Tie Fighters and even the Zan Consortium ships, Tie Fighters are awesome. Especially the, you know, if they have an Astro Droid, like uh, R2D2. Come on, Vader, tick boss guy. That's your one objective. Where's Boba? Is Boba dead? Boba's dead. God damn it! Look, we got two boss up here, and an IG idiot. We'll just watch the battle unfold. Vader's last stand. Look at him. Ah, oh, Vader, no. <laughs> oh my god, so look at the... How long was this battle? 17 minutes. Look at all the units lost. 17 TIE Interceptor Squadrons. 9 of Darth Vader's uh, wingmen were destroyed. Ta uh, 8 TIE Squadron, or TIE Bomber Squadrons. 1 Darth Vader, obviously. Uh, a Victory Class, 17 other TIE Interceptors, what? 
Holy crap, I lost a lot of time interceptors. Slave 1, which is Boba Fett, that's the name of the ship. Uh, <laughs> look at all they lost. 9 fighter squadrons, 2 little cruiser class corvettes, uh, 3 skip red blast boat squadrons, 1 interceptor 4 class uh, corvette, 2, uh, when did I destroy their remaining asteroids? They must have been the ones in the middle. I can't believe I beat Bosk and IG-88, I thought they were there from the start of the game, but come on guys, give Geronimo your support. There is bugs, it's a little bit unbalanced, when I say a little bit I mean it's really unbalanced in the consortium's favour, but it's so much fun if you can get a friend and you can manage to get this working over LAN or you know IP or something even online I don't think yeah online for this works anymore since Game Spy went down but just try see if there's a way to get online and play this try your best against like a hard AA that would be a lot of fun I just want to say thanks to Geronimo for releasing this and giving us an amazing mod with so much detail given to the ships and also his creative ability to create ships that look fucking awesome and i'm not going to ruin the surprise but some of these ships look fucking awesome so check it out i'll put a link in the description below for the mod and remember there's a patch up as well so just uh, drag the data file into the mod folder and then into star wars redone or remade whatever and replace the data file and that should be it thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me a lot and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.